Fitness. Joining us now, Chris uh, Rondo, CEO of Planet Fitness. Chris, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. So uh, update us not, not only on uh, how many more members you're signing up in, in recent weeks and months uh, following uh, vaccinations, but, but how much they're using the gym relative to, to past, uh, past years pre-pandemic. Sure, yeah, we're currently at about uh, 80, 85% of 2019 usage. Um, and the, in the joining volume, what we've seen from the unseasonable join volume, gen, you know, generally January is our big month, right? We're seeing really trends towards the tail end of first quarter we've never seen before, and even into April, which in April we signed up 200,000 net new members in the month of April alone. So um, it's something we haven't seen. I've been here for 28 years since we started, and, and we're really thrilled with the demand for the product. And honestly, some of the interesting stats there where you know, normally about 20% of our joins, Wilfred, are um, rejoins of Planet Fitness. They left and they're coming back. That number is over 30% today, which we've never seen that. So people are choosing bricks and mortar faster than they ever have in the past, which is, you know, music to our ears. Do you worry, though, about a permanent shift toward working out at home? No, I think, you know, the stats, I look at it and, and working from home is not, working out from home is not new, right? It's been been around forever. I always go back and I say it, but Richard Simmons, Jane Fonda, Billy Blanks with Ty Bo. You know, the gym experience, getting out of the house with the variety of equipment you have, being around others, you just really can't replicate that. And what we're seeing from the rejoins and even first time gym members, Sarah, we have about 40 percent of our joins are first time gym members, never went to a gym in their life. So and that was a stat was the same as before COVID. So they're coming back to us or coming to us as first timers and not afraid of bricks and mortar and want that experience. And for 10 bucks a month, you just can't beat it. If it's all about bricks and mortar, what, what's the investment in iFit for? Yeah, so how I look at it is really bricks with clicks and, and really engagement. And people, I like to di dif uh, differentiate home fitness and digital fitness are two separate things. And digital fitness is fitness anywhere. And people have really adopted digital, not just gyms, but QR codes on menus, ordering your coffee and how you pay. And we're seeing today, for example, um, about 65 to 70 percent of our joints are joining, are joining digitally, right? In 2019, it was half that. So people are just using digital very differently. So to your question, we look at is how can we service our members inside the club and outside the club? And this is something that the industry has never been able to do, right? We we service you when you walk through our door, but now for Planet, for the first time in the industry, we're, we're leading this is we're gonna service our member in the club and out of the club. So if you can't make it today, you can do something at home to keep up with your regimen. Your, your growth and the stock price and, and a lot of your success has been powered by the fact that you're always opening new stores. What does the pipeline look like right now? Are you seeing that confidence level that you have from some of your franchisees and the lenders and everyone else you need to, to keep opening stores? Yeah, that's a great question. We've been open about 75 to 100 stores this year, which is off of our record of 260 in, in, uh, in 2019. And it's really filling that pipeline. You're right. You know, in, in last year, no one was really looking for real estate. We just wanted to weather the storm, get through it, get reopened. Today, we have virtually every store open except for some in Canada today. Um, and the franchisees couldn't be more happy. They, they're they seeing the same uh, volumes, actually, that, that we're seeing in our corporate stores. And, and they're like, wow, this is really, it's turned the corner. We're finally out of this. And the joining volume, you know, I couldn't be more thrilled, like I said earlier, that if this keeps up, I mean, we're going to see some seasonality shift here that we've never seen before, that we're going to set up for a really, I think, strong 2022 here um, as we build up our member bases back for the rest of this year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.